The skinny Soraka build is back and it's still as sleeveful as ever. If you love my videos, feel free to like and subscribe as it helps with my channel a lot. Also, I do stream on twitch.tv slash Blair every other day around 6pm Manila time, so feel free to come if you want to have a chill and fun night. Hi everybody, I'm Blair, a Grandmaster support main who loves playing enchanters. In this video, I'll show you how I recreated the skinny Soraka build that we all love and honestly is the only fun way to play Soraka for me. You really wanna kill? Girl? Oh my god. Oh my god! Kiana! Kiana! Kill! Oh my god! I was trying to heal you, hindi naman alam ba yung heal te. Patch 14.4 gave Soraka buffs on her passive movement speed and additional heals from landing your Q, which means the skinny Soraka build is stronger than before. Prior to the buffs, I have actually been enjoying this build already and since Soraka got buffed, I think it's just right to share it with you guys as well. Let's go over the runes first. You take Sorcery and Aerie as your main rune, then Domination second. I know you might think I'm crazy for not getting Resolve as my secondary rune, but trust me on this, it will work. Under Sorcery, you want to go Nimbus Cloak for your first rune. This saves you in more ways than one since you'll most likely want to have Exhaust or Heal or Barrier and the Burst Speed will help you so much. Next, you go Celerity to get the most out of all the movement speed that you'll get. And finally, Gathering Storm for AP Scaling. You can also get Scorch for early game domination if you can land your skills well and harass. Under Domination, you want to always get Relentless Hunter for the permanent out of combat speed. This will make you feel like you're in ambulance. You can also easily get all your stacks by just pressing R and take assists on takedowns. For the second rune, you can take Zombie Ward for additional vision control or Taste of Blood to help sustaining early game easier. Now let's discuss items. Your build will look something like this. You want to get Boots of Swiftness, Solstice Slay, Dream Maker, Celestial Opposition for your ward item, and Chevelias. Everything else is flex. I know Chevelias is not as lethal as before, but I find that prioritizing Chevelias still is my go-to item. Meaning to say, if you're used to the skinny Soraka build, you'll find that having access to additional movement speed burst is still your best chance at survival. For your ward item, this is always going to be flexible. By default, especially with the most recent support item adjustments, you want to go Solstice Lane. With default meaning that the enemy team has no assassin that can one-shot kill you or your team is not struggling. On the other hand, you can go Dream Maker if your wincon is your ADC, meaning you have a super fed Jinx, a Philios Lucian, etc. And of course, you go Celestial Opposition to counter any burst damage assassins, either if they're AP like Syndra, LeBlanc, or their assassins like Zed or Kiana. Other flex items are any enchanter item like Redemption, Moonstone, Mikael's, Staff Flowing Water, and the likes, or tank items like Frozen Heart and Spirit Visage. If your team needs anti-heal, I would suggest asking your teammates to buy anti-heal because you want to prioritize on being an ambulance Soraka always. And remember to keep yourself alive so you can keep your team alive too. A dead support or a dead Soraka is no use to your team. Now let's discuss skills. There are two ways to go about this. You can either put 3 points on Q then max W or straight up maxing W. This depends on your early game state. If you're against extremely pokey enemies, then you can max W because you'll need it more. If you're against any short range bot lane and can easily land your Qs, you can put 3 points on Q, then max W, followed by R and then E, of course. Playing the skinny Soraka build is all about positioning. It will take some practice, but I swear once you're able to master and get the hang of your range and movement speed, you'll be able to maximize landing your Qs for poking and making sure that your lane is sustained. In early game, you try to poke and keep your ADC alive while making sure to use your silence as smart as possible. Mid game to late game, you're basically an ambulance, which means you have to make sure that you are sustaining yourself by not soaking up damage and at the same time keeping enemies at max range of your Q to make sure that you can heal your teammates from a safe distance. Also, remember to take note of how strong your silence is. One way to easily secure a kill is to land your silence on any enemy that gets caught by an ally CC. Meaning, if they're stunned or slowed or etc, combo with your silence then root. Can most likely secure a free kill. Or if you're against a Katarina or a Samira that's carrying the enemy team, you can save your silence for when they start spinning. Trust me, he will get pissed. And that's everything about my updated version of the skinny Soraka build. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and if you love this build or if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section or you can also share this to your besties. As always, remember to always choose kindness. Bye!